people are concerned about safety. This is modestly described as the first attempt in the world to lower the death rate caused through motors. Other inventors are more concerned with protecting the driver or his car. There are new ideas in propulsion too, such as this adaption of a wartime flying machine. Others look for new shapes for the motor car. But here too, it is possible to detect the influence of the aeroplane. This car was designed by Dr. Rumpler of Germany, who had worked on aircraft. And even his mudguards look like wings. The rear-mounted engine allows an excellent aerodynamic shape, and the suspension is soft in the modern manner. Specially designed luggage fits snugly into the plan. Equally unsuccessful commercially is another invention of the time, the walking car. Although the idea will prove highly successful in mining machinery later on. Walking, flying or floating cars. The inventors of the 20s tried them all. Perhaps the most prophetic was the rocket pioneer Fritz von Opel, son of the famous German car manufacturer. But it's with the new freedom of travel that the twenties really express themselves. Here's an impressive demonstration. One of the first Model A Fords climbs Ben Nevis, Britain's highest mountain, a feat which many are to try later without success. Major Court Treat went further with his feat of crosses and spent 18 tough months battling through the rains from the Cape to Cara. Moreover, with these motorists went movie cameras and the records are preserved as never before. However, the car that carried out the most amazing journeys of all is the Citroën Cagress. With its special Caterpillar tracks, it could go almost anywhere. The Citroën expedition along the historic caravan routes to China is one of the greatest journeys of exploration ever made. From the Mediterranean, they crossed the Middle East with 30 men and 50 tons of supplies. Their special supercharged cars took them right up into the Himalayas. Nothing could stop them. When it became impossible, it just took a little longer. Not since the days of Marco Polo had a group of men made such a journey across Asia. They came down into China only to find it a battleground. This, and the death of their leader, brought the expedition to a halt. But their epic journeys were the final vindication of that eccentric invention, the horseless carriage. The motor car had crossed two continents. The world lay at its feet. <laughs> 